Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Mogulu, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. Oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a Kraken. Keep this up and I swear I'll eat... It's them! The final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Palamedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister... <laughs> I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. So, there's a demon in Haria. It sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do! <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes. That I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon? And one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> it's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Um... Sort of... When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. 
But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chigure seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect! You pretend the boy is your little brother! Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually... When I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes I think... This is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, said. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. Oh... Yeah... You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool, by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. How about an older brother instead? Hey, this doll? It looks like Bienfu. Ah, a keen eye you have, young man. That's... Empyrean Ominoj? Yep, no doubt about it. I've seen her with my own eyes. You saw her? Why was she angry? Well, the Abbeys banned any profession of the Ominochian faith in Southgand, despite her popularity. Gotta assume that's what got her all bent out of shape. I tried talking to her, but no matter what I said, she was just like... <sighs> <sighs> oh. Wait, that sounds like... And that low-energy goddess you saw? The doll you've got here looks like her? Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers! Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Pensively watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Ugh. Why didn't you mention Grimoire as a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies listening everywhere! <laughs> Beautiful waters. So this is Mockler Beach. I hope she's actually here.
This grimoire who we're searching for is a Moloch like Bienfu, right? To be honest, I don't see how someone so different can be a Moloch just the same as Lafayette or Aizen. I understand your doubts. It's quite the tangly mess. I'll tell you anything! In that case, I've been wondering, what's underneath your hat? Oh no! Anything but that! So, we've hit a wall already. But that ribbon flaps around and gets in the way, right? Could I take it off for you? No! No! That's not possible! You mustn't remove the ribbon! Why not? That's another thing I can't say! It's all cans with you. All right, is there anything you can tell me? I could talk about what type of Malakim we are, or our position in the world of Malakim, or our abilities. Oh, I'd like to know all that. Then I will tell you. Listen closely. We Norman are a well-established race of Malakim. Compared to other Malakim, we aren't as adept at manipulating natural forces, but we excel at drawing out and heightening the abilities of others. Think of them as a convenient power-up. They're also known as common spirits. Don't even say that! We Norman hate being called that. Why is it so painful for you? Because it makes people think we're average and unremarkable. That does explain your quirky speaking mannerisms. Don't sweat it. That's a perfectly common thing to worry about. <laughs> Don't say that! Is that... Grimoire? <sighs> She's moving away! A dragon? No, just a big lizard demon. Is it friends with Gaia? Same sort of Moloch as Bienfu? You're Grimoire, right? <sighs> We've been looking for you. We need your help. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Velvet. I know your witch friend. Oh. Grim, so wonderful to see you. It's been forever! Ah, you too. Still as outlandish a pair as ever, I see. How exactly do you know her? Which training? She was an upperclassman. And? We found this fascinating ancient tome, and we were hoping you could read it for us. Goodness, Mogilu. You of all people joining a team? I didn't know you had it in you. Eh, they keep me entertained. Well, I don't need entertainment. 
the end. Come on, Grim. Isn't there any way you can help us? It's not the kind of thing I do. Oh, what a shame. Things happen. Well, we tried, didn't we? Maybe you need some incentivizing. Do it. I'm serious. I bet you are. <sighs> Your eyes tell me you're dangerous. Trouble follows you like a hawk tails a rabbit. And at my age, trouble is something I'd rather avoid. How old are you? Ask me again and you'll get a firework in the tush. Uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but sorry. <sighs> well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? Well, I love reading, and I want to learn more about history. Besides, we need what's in this book. You have passion, child. I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you, kid? Yeah... My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am! You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, yes ma'am. Er, uh, not ma'am. Right. Let's see what we're looking at here. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be, but this isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. Hmm, you've redeemed yourself, young man. There's a village called Haria just a little ways away. That works. Thank you. Fine. Haria Village. Whatever gets the job done. Haria. Isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? I think it might be. We should remain on our guard. That's Haria Village. To the inn! One and all! if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amenoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. A shop in Isolt was selling Amenoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper. Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? 
You got this whole somber on we thing going on. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh, yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. M mounted? No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Whether or not you are the Empyrean Ominoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean. I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. We could use a place to stay. Yep. Just finished cleaning, in fact. You can help yourself to that room there. Alright, time to start deciphering this scroll. Let's wait somewhere outside so Grimm can concentrate. Um, do you think maybe I could stay and watch? I really do want to study the ancient tongue. I promise I'll be quiet and not get in your way, teacher. What did you just say, child? Uh, that I'd be quiet and... No, what did you call me? Teacher? You said you didn't want to be called ma'am, so I thought maybe that'd work. Yes, satisfactory. Thank you so much, teacher! We'll leave you two alone then. So she digs being called teacher. Well played, Laffy said. She wasn't so fond of ma'am, so I guess he figured he needed an alternative. You can tell how badly he wanted to help her with the language he work. I think our Moloch boy's finally finding himself. So it would seem. What connection do you think there is between the violent demon Teresa mentioned and this village? Couldn't tell you. Could there have been a demon blight breakout here? Whatever it is. If it keeps the Abbey's eyes off us for once, that's good enough for me. You really will use anything and everything towards your own aims, won't you? Yep, and that includes you. As I'm sure you've noticed. Banning local religions. The Abbey sure knows how to oppress the populace. I'd imagine that comes part and parcel with spreading the good word. Other gods would only get in the way. From what we overheard, it sounds like they've taken over Amenoch's temple, Palamedes, to use as their base of operations. Sealing it off would be provocative enough. But straight up taking it over? Not a lot of so-called reason to that. Unless... Do you think they need it for some other purpose? Shrug. It sounds like deciphering the text might take some time. We should be prepared to wait it out here a while. I hope so too, but ancient Avarost is complex. It's not just a matter of knowing the grammar and vocabulary. Oh? Then how exactly do you read it? I'm not sure about the specifics myself, but from what I understand, you kind of have to intuit a lot of it. A language based on guesswork? Thanks, old dead people. You're officially the worst. Ancient Avarost, you have the obstinacy of a spurned lover who refuses to move on. Even for you, teacher? It's this one crucial line. I can't wrap my head around it. Er, uh, well, for 
from what you've taught me so far, it looks like it says, Sa, Popo, Mucho, Sanchon. Correct, but if you merely translate it word for word, it ends up saying, the parent hates tomatoes, the child eggplants. I doubt those have much to do with the nominat. <laughs> yeah. Their grammar is nothing like ours. Sometimes you have to reorder the words, and even then the meaning can require leaps of logic and flashes of intuition. Reordering? So like, San San, Pocho Pocho, Pocho Musan, Pocho Musan. Can you read it that way? Pocho Musan. Now where did you get that from? These words are lined up, like they repeat. And when I read this part that same way, it just felt right. Pocho Musan. Hmm, if that's repeated here, then the passage turns into... The Nameless Empyrean. Empyrean! Ho oh, ho, oh, that has to refer to Innominat. I think we're on to something. All right, so if we apply this rule here, then... Hmm, hmm... It would seem to be a book of children's counting songs. It's not about Enominat? What matters is what the song says, child. And I think you will be very interested in the words. I wonder if they've made any progress yet. Shall we go check on them? <laughs> 